Peter, a lovely spot here at Newell Beach uh, where the river meets the sea and you've got a uh, sort of a takeaway place here with, with the lovely Lisa. Why do you live here? What, what do you love about it? Oh look Paul, I think um, the hustle and bustle of city life which we had in Brisbane, um, this place drew us. Um, we came up here for holiday and then when we went back we found out that the Newell Beach takeaway was on the market for sale and we couldn't knock the opportunity back so we sold everything we had gave up our careers and uh, this is where we are what were your careers that you gave up uh, lisa was in state government for 20 odd years um, i was in construction and cranes um, i say i've gone from cranes to calamari now so um, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing um, the hours are pretty much the same but being your own boss, it's just a different lifestyle up here altogether. And were you in the military at all? I heard a whisper. Yeah, I was in the Navy for a period there, Paul. Yeah, in the early 90s to 96. So. And what yeah. sort of things in the Navy? Uh, just general duties mainly. Um, a lot to do with a little bit to do with clearance diving. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, last um, call was as Admiral's valet, which was like his personal chauffeur, and I did everything for him. So, like a personal secretary sort of thing. Wow, that must have been interesting. It was very, very interesting. He was the youngest Admiral ever. And um, yeah, it, um, it was a nice finish to my career. So that was hospitality, and of course you're very hospitable here at Newell Beach with, with your takeaway and that. Uh, before you came up from Brisbane, did you guys come from anywhere else, or were you born in Brisbane? I was, um, I'm from Brisbane originally. Lisa was born and bred here. Came back after 30 odd years, or 40 years. I, I keep saying 40, which doesn't like me reminded of that. So uh, Scommers on names, very famous. It is indeed. So yeah, we came back after all this time, and, and Lisa will admit she never thought that she'd ever come back here but now she's here she wouldn't be anywhere else so do you get any it. spare time oh we have a monday off occasionally but it's it's still got work to do um there's always other stuff to do you know what i mean so always uh looking out for our community you know trying to do a bit of fundraising here and there so there's always something to do and don't forget to smell the roses we do we do don't worry let's just got some nice roses in the backyard now so <laughs> they're growing quite well well of course lisa is in council you both got the shop uh, do you see yourself staying here oh i can't see us going anywhere ever not now i love it here my kids come up and see us and lisa's kids come up and everyone loves it up here so this is where we are and this is where we're going to stay